Hi everyone, welcome. I'm so glad to be here. It's Thursday. It seems like it really snuck up quick this week. And um, I have been looking forward to this and I'm really excited to go through the transformation of this stage of the piece. It's gonna be so much fun. So it's at that spot where it's gonna really change just enough to where when I show you, I did the print out for the, uh, you know, where we're starting today. And I'll show that later as we go on. And hi, Peg. Hi, Chrisella. Hi, Cameron. So glad you guys are here. And we'll just wait a little bit and see if a few more people roll in. Um, I am uh, really excited for where I'm at. I don't have a lot of changes that I plan on doing today. I did take some time because um, of the back here, this really drove me nuts. So we're gonna work on that and you're gonna be able to see how I changed that, which I think is kind of fun to have something like that in each piece. Um, I did have a request to put the, um, the reference image. And at first I was kind of like, I don't know if I wanna take that on, but for pieces that I use a reference image that are a little closer, I um, have linked that up in the description below. And so um, I, I did, I am using this, but I'm not really going by it exactly. Um, the actual color version is pretty yellow. It's more, it's in a, the birds in a sunflower field. And these are actually like sunflowers that have already gone through their process, but I'm making them into those little, they're called, um, I'm trying to remember what the name of their, like clover. I think they're clover flowers, something like that. They're purple, but I'm just going with it. I have artistics licensing on it, right? So um, yeah, for those of you who um, are new today, uh, I would definitely go through and watch part one if you haven't already. I used, I built up the structure and put in these, um, the base layer, which is basically I'm blocking in. And now I'm just getting to the stage where I'm starting to build up on the layers. Hi, Laura. We got Laura S and Laura M. Welcome, you guys. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you guys are having a good week. How's everyone feeling? Is everyone healthy this week? I hope you guys are. That would be awesome. I know you guys have all gone through um, a lot this past couple weeks, so um, I hope you're doing a lot better. And um, so yeah, I I did put that reference uh, image in there, and I'm going to show you. I sketched up a little bit because sometimes when using reference Im images, they'll be a little bit off. And for me, I change them so much that sometimes something can be a little bit of a hiccup. So um, I, I played with this area right here and I think I'm happy with just doing it the way I wanna do it right there because right now I put a little bit too dark on here and it just looks like this wonky um, back that doesn't flow right. So I tried to fix it once when we were on the other day, but I'm going to um, try one more uh, idea on that since I've had 48 hours to play with that. I'm gonna see if I can bump the light up one more. There we go. All right, and I also realized I tried doing a full crop on this. I, I like seeing my hand go, and it was cropping out my hand too much, so I, I definitely made that change too. Bunny Bird, hi Dawn, I've been about you have 30 minutes to watch right now before you leave for work. Well, I'm glad you chose to tune in uh, for uh, before you go to work. Um, I would love to know where you're from, uh, if you have any pets. Always love everybody's uh, dogs. I, I have a good list going on here. I mean, Laura M, how's Gus? Little handsome Gus, I got Laura uh, S. You have all the geckos and Mia and Dozer and Finnegan. <laughs> I've been trying because I'm such a dog person too. I think it's a lot of fun uh, to be able to um, share that. And um, so, yeah. Oh, let me see, Laura. It's freezing here in Connecticut, ready for some warm weather, slowly getting better. I'm glad to hear that, Laura. You've been through a ton. So it's wonderful that you're here. And um, so I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna always love starting with the, the major changes first. And so what I love about this paper, I'm using the UR 600 dark um, sanded paper. And so I'm just going to um, erase because I can. And I can make these changes which are really empowering on this paper. And pastel is so flexible. 
Thank you for all the hearts. <laughs> Pastel's so flexible, especially on this paper. The paper allows me to do a lot more than I could on maybe like a pastel matte, which is a great paper too, but it doesn't really allow as many changes. So I'm just gonna go in here. I have my trusty little dowel and I'm going to take the changes that I made here with my little notes and I'm going to uh, draw them in again. And so the big thing is, is I wanna remember Getting that in just right is gonna be the pickle. But a lot of it's because I'm always at this like a little bit odd of an angle that I find this side is a little bit more challenging with some of the changes. Welcome everybody. I'm so glad you guys are all here. Definitely say hi, I would love to hear from you. There's snow there, oh my goodness. We're, we're in the full spring over here. Well guys, you know, maybe I should have done the change when I was a little bit warmed up. <laughs> but the cool thing is, is we're all good. We got time. People will be rolling in and, and they won't feel like uh, they've missed much here yet. I think it's this, yeah. It's that. Okay. And then I'm gonna bring, got that right there. I'm gonna leave that and see how that works. Let's see if I can tuck it around the edge there. And I'm going to put in this yellow right here. And when I'm doing that, I know it's not gonna be exactly like the reference because I, I don't want this, it was kind of a weird spot right there anyway. I'd rather have that come out instead of look dimpled in. So that's what I'm gonna work on. Hi, Michelle. Oh my goodness, so early for you, 7.30 in the morning in Australia. That's what I'm learning, folks. T daylight savings time is not kind in this area and I'm a little bit like oh my goodness that that's not fun that um, it's so early for you so get your coffee <laughs> relax um, right now I, I can't believe it. it's 1 1 30 here and 7 30 in the morning <laughs> no worries Michelle I'm just glad you're even here I I've, I'm gonna hold on to these next few weeks because you said in July it's gonna be 6 30 in the morning and that's gonna be really early. So I got that spot in there and then I'm gonna take the, um, the magenta and I'm gonna put a little bit of that in here so it mimics that spot a little bit. And then I'm gonna play with Sometimes you just gotta play with some of these areas a little more than you would. It's just the angles. They don't look like they'll be off on the drawings and then you'll start playing around and if you've shifted it at all, it'll um, look pretty funny. And then I'm gonna bring up Well, I want this to be darker, so I'm gonna go and just put some pan pastel in there. I have this little applicator, and I'm just going to, I want to bring it all up to where it's not bumping each other, so I think I'm gonna use like an orange. Because I don't want that to be a shadow. Rubbing sleep out of your eyes, aw. We have Deanna, welcome Deanna. Hi from Virginia, you've been watching all the replays that are fantastic and here for the first time i'm usually doing my horse during this riding my horse during this time well welcome deanna i'm so glad that you joined us here today 
That's that's awesome. I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying the replays. I know I have a replay family out there. A shout out to all of you who watch this um, later. It's nice when you can come in live, so I'm really excited about that. So I'm just trying to bring this up a little bit so it doesn't look like they're all shadowed. And they're not like hovering over each other. A little bit of some burnt sienna. A little bit of red iron oxide. Yeah, I just don't want to bring as much attention to that spot right there and I'm going to thin out this um, line, the black line. And that'll keep it to where it looks like it's on the same plane and that it's not shadowed. A little bit more of a subtle transition. Michelle, back one hour, 7th of April. Oh, it's the 7th of April. Oh, I was thinking it was like in July. Ugh. Ah, that's so early. So once I get feeling really good about the, these feathers, I'll, I'll move on. I'm just looking at it and... I'll go put that squiggly back in after I get this up here a bit. And then I have the violet and the blue kind of going down is the body. And then I can clean up some of these edges and stuff with the pencils once I, once I get going. Let me see here. Welcome everyone. I'm so glad that you're here. So I fixed that. I like that a lot better. I'm going to um, move forward a little bit here and see if I can get some of the rest of this black filled in. Now I was thinking that I, I really love on some of these birds that I do, I, um, let me see, this one might be the better one to show you. I really love when I put some of these little dark holes in here and um, I'm gonna pop some of those in and I'm gonna use my extra dark Diane Townsend because I just feel like it hits it right away and I can put it in, in certain spots really easily. If you don't have something like this, the black uh, pencil is a, a 10 on the value scale and this, um, it's really hard to find 10s in the pastel world and so these extra darks have been a lifesaver in the sense of being able to um, have something that really pushes the darks back. Cause I'll even probably hit it a little more in here, but I did use the pencil quite a bit in there. But um, yeah, so a couple of those dots in there. And then I'm trying to think, I think that's about it. I might put one more right here since I already have it. Okay. All right. Nineteen of you, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. So if you have any questions about pan pastel or anything in my process, I'm definitely willing to answer it. Um, I 
want to use this time to connect with people like that take my classes or new or just interested in the medium it um it's i'm here to demystify soft pastel and i i find that it has a lot of um concerns with people because of the type of medium it is and i um love being able to share that here with you all so definitely feel free to ask questions there are many, oh gosh, this one is, yeah, this is a great question, Laura. There are so many of the dark Diane Towsons, dark blues, dark greens, which would you prefer? You know, I kind of bought quite a few of them. And then what happens is you take the wrappers off and then you don't know what you have. <laughs> so they're, they're, they're like a mix of black. What I love about them is they're a mix of black that has color in them. So they're not as dull. And um, I've leaned towards getting any of the uh, any of the greens, the dark greens or the blues. The blues seem to be, or, or any purples or violets, any cools, because I'm usually pushing back when I'm using dark. So for me, I'd pick a cool color like that, like a the phalo green, um, I think they have, they just have so many. So make sure it's the extra dark um, and then you won't even probably be able to tell the difference that much unless you're putting them all up together. I did swatch them all out and you can tell the difference. So it's quite interesting. Hey, Lori. Gosh, I'm so sorry I didn't ping you today. Well, look at you. I'll make it it. <laughs> That's awesome. Welcome here. I'm so glad that you're here. So I'm going to take some of this and bring out some of my um, rays and finish that out here a little bit. I want to bring some more yellow in. So I'm going to go here and this is the diet, um, diarolide core. And that is the diarolide extra dark. So if I add black to this, I'm going to get a shade in between these two. Now, if I add more black to it, then I'm going to get, um, the extra dark right here. So pa uh, pan pastel is in families. And um, once you get that down, it's really easy to understand that, okay, if I add white to this, then I'm gonna get the diarolide tint. So you really can get away with having a lot of the cores if you can't get all the colors. You just find in the end that you don't wanna mix as much. So I think that's some of it for me. I want to mirror, it, mirror this like t um, turquoise over here. And so I'm gonna pop this into some of these little holes here. I need to wipe this off a little bit better. <laughs> I wipe off onto a microfiber towel and that holds any, you know, dust from the pan pastels. They are really low dust, but um, it kind of captures it. And if I use a paper towel, they fill up a little faster. How's your day going, Lori? How's Tucker? <laughs> I know you're going to make him some food. Lori and I both make dog food and uh, she's been doing that for her dog. It's an adventure. <laughs> All right. So I got these little pops of the turquoise. I might even bring it up a little bit right here. And, and I think it would be fun to go right here just on some of these we're all good need to start the food okay so my goal is i'm just having a rainbow sky like a a very exciting sky with artistic licensing so I am just getting that base in and then I'm going to take the pencils and bring out some of that structure even more. I'm thinking over here, I might add a little bit more of the yellow. And then I'm going to put Trying to think of what I want to do right there. I like the idea of the some of the magenta going up here. So let's see what happens when I just plop some of that in there. On the edges, it's fine because this is where I want my focal point to be. 
So I always like to pick a focal point and then I'm gonna put my light in the brightest areas around that focal point. And I can always lighten that up. I'm gonna put a little more of the orange in. This is the orange shade. And I think I'm gonna leave those gaps for some pencils. Well, welcome Phoenix. I'm so glad you're here. You're the one that you have a lot of dogs too. Um, Abby Normal, which is an awesome name. <laughs> I was like, I was telling uh, people that if they have their dogs, I'd love to hear the names of their dogs or, or cats. I think someone has a really cool name, uh, Temple. She's not here today, but um, she has a cat named Bunny, which I thought that was a really cool name for a, um, a pet. Okay, so I've put the, um, that, those spots in and now I'm gonna go in with some pencils and clean that up a little bit and add some interest. Um, I'm going to, uh, let's see, I love the lime green when it's around the orange. So I'm going to put some of this in. I think I'm gonna go through here. This is a um, a Carba, uh, I mean a Karen Dash, a 232 lime green. They're an ultra soft pastel pencil. They're really different than the other ones. And then I'm just gonna continue that in here a little bit. You had a dog named Cat, that's awesome. <laughs> I love that. Let's see here. Just looking at it as a whole before I just pop it in. I think I'm just gonna put a little bit of it right here. And with this type of piece, I, I use the pencils a lot sooner because I'm, I'm mark making more with them. So I really like to mark make with the pencils and um, I'm gonna go right here with it too. Okay. And at this spot, I start putting in random marks. And I also wanna highlight a little bit down here. And I'm just debating on what I want in this center here. And I think I'm gonna go, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll do the, well, I think I'm gonna go really light on the, um, yellow. So I'm going to take a little bit of this diarolide and I'm going to bring it up so I have a little bit of middle between the tints. So this is the yellow oxide with the diarolide and then I can um, go down. Oh, it's pretty much the same there, but I think I'm going to then go in more with the uh, yellow here. Yeah. Well, I might put a little bit of this in. So you're just filling all those gaps that I had down and then I can go over them with the pencils. And I'm thinking here I have this really pretty um, blue. It's uh, a Caran d'Ache. It's 140. And I'm going to highlight these little flowers down here to give them a little bit of a pop. 
and it's a little bit different than the highlight up there because this is in a darker area and I don't want them to be highlighted as much. Oops. And then that really pops them out as being part of the other ones. And then I really love this pencil. So I'm going to take that and now harmonize it by um, going in a little bit. Harmonizing is where I just take the color and I sprinkle it all around the piece. And this is a lot softer of a pencil. That just kind of carries that color around a little bit. I really like that color. So I got that in there. I have this almost like a it's it it's it's in the turquoise family, but it's bluish turquoise. It's the, there's so many different blues in here and I'm thinking right here like this transitions a little strong, so I might carry down actually this green real quick since I see it here. The lime green I'll carry it down over this. And I'll just put random mark making to break things up. So I'm always thinking about opportunities to break up sections. And then I the past the, the pan pastels like a um an underpainting. So I can go over with these pencils a little bit darker or lighter and um, add more texture to the piece. Thank you for the hearts. <laughs> now blue and orange are complementary, so sometimes I'll you know, try to go over the blue with some patterns like these little polka dots. And this is where the piece just starts coming together is where your my whole goal is that I am trying to take all these these segments that I've made the structure and then I'll start merging things together, burying lines, scribbling over lines and breaking things up. So I'm breaking up the structure as I go. And you learn over time what colors really work together. And so like I know the, the blue is a complementary to orange, so I'd pop that into some spots. I think uh, that's what my mind is thinking. Hey, Denine, welcome. I'm so glad that you made it today. That's awesome. How are things with you? And so sometimes it, when you just take off from the color, you can, you know, add additional marks. And I can always erase those or put them away if I don't, if I don't like it. So this is a little lighter than that right there. So I'm going to support it. I feel like that's my husband doing all the hearts, but <laughs> you guys are really sweet if that's you too. <laughs> a snowstorm. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we don't want snow. You guys, a few of you guys are doing snow. Okay, so now I'm thinking about like I have some of that white in there, but I want to bring it up throughout in a couple areas. And when I do that, I'm putting the white over another color and that's going to tint it out so it won't be as bright. So there's a few spots here. I, I just want to take this white and bring it up throughout. And this is my focal point, but 
I'm just gonna take this white and bring up some of these colors and I can always put that saturation back in there. I might put a little bit in here to break up that transition a bit. And I think I need to work on those stems because they're really dark right now. I might just Okay. And see if I'm going over this, this pink, it's going to just brighten it up. And just like the pan pastel, if I go over a core, it's going to do the same thing. And I'm using it to kind of rim around these spots here. So I got a stem right here too. And here, I'm gonna sharpen this up a little bit. I use this brass sharpener. I love it, it's an m and I just have to change the blades a lot. And I have all these supplies in my um, description below if you're uh, wanting to look at them closer. Or... I think the hardest thing with that sharpener is finding the um, refills for it. So even if I feel like I went a little too bright in a couple of spots, I um, can go back and add some saturation to it. I don't mind breaking up this circle a little bit. And I might put some little polka dots in here. And I can always bury them if I feel like they're too much. Okay. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. So I'm just going to continue to bring up some of these areas and work on the stems. I can't believe I've been doing this for six weeks now, you guys. It's been so much fun. I've been really enjoying it. So these stems, I'm going to just go on the edges of them a little bit. And I, I don't, they don't have to be perfect. I might even hit them a little bit with the lime color because they're rim lighted with the lighting going through. Francine, welcome. I'm so glad you made it. Beautiful day in Colorado, Colorado. Almost thought I wasn't going to make it. So glad to be here. I'm so glad you made it, Francine. Thanks again for your nice comment on my video. I just really appreciate you. So you can see how I've they were darker because when I on part one I put in the the darker um, uh, derelite yellow and uh, well, it's just derelite. This is the extra dark. Diarolide, diarolide yellow, extra dark. And um, now it, that gives me space to be able to bring it up and offer some um, depth to it. And then I can also go over some of these little leaves that come out of the flowers. I got a few different greens in there, which I love to do. I have a few down here. I wouldn't mind popping up a little bit. JC Creates. This is amazing. Thank you so much. Welcome. I don't think you've been in chat before. I'm so glad you um, took time to, to say hi or to comment. That's great. Jamie, welcome. So glad you made it. There was this woman, um, I didn't get a chance to reply to her question yet, but she says she's on here and watches all the time and um, she can't chat. And I've been meaning to reply, so I'm really quick going to reply to you. If you're watching, you said you had your phone plugged into the TV. And um, I think if you have a smart TV, if you can download the YouTube app and then log into YouTube, 
that will help you. And then on your phone, you can have the volume turned down and watch it live on your phone and then chat on your phone. So if you wanna do both, that's a great way to do it, but you have to download the app on your TV if it's a smart TV. So I'm just throwing that out there in case you're watching, because you said you've been watching live. And um, I definitely want, it, want you to be able to get in a chat because I love chatting with everybody. So I'm just working on these stems here. Down here, I'm gonna be a little bit more conservative of how much of the really bright I'm putting in here. I just wanna work on some of these little leaves and I don't need them to be perfect. They're, they're abstracted out, you know, it doesn't have to be. I'm going to put a little bit more of something right here, a little bit more something something right there because I want that to be a little brighter. I think I'm gonna go in with this bright teal. It's turquoise, but it's the it's a uh, 545 Carbothello. It's one of my favorites. And to get this color, I usually have to pop in some permanent green into the turquoise, but I, I just think it really is a great pencil. I also have some soft pastels this color. I'm just gonna bring this whole area up. And I love these two together. And I feel like right there's a little bit of a wonky spot. So I'm gonna play around with that a little bit. Maybe I'll just get rid of that. Autumn Rain, welcome. I'm so glad that you made it here today. We got 27 of you, that's awesome. Hello all, <laughs> that's awesome. I think weren't you in um, Australia too? I, I gotta write that down. I, I know you're in my Facebook group, so I, I love having you there. Francine, oh, you guys are chatting there. Okay, awesome, welcome you guys. I'm so glad that you're here. So and now I'm just taking this um, turquoise pencil and I'm gonna stand back a little bit cause I'm looking at this and I, I need to work on this spot and unify it a little bit more. And I might take that black dot out because I feel like it might be taking away too much of the flowers there. And I really thought I wanted it, but I think I might at least make it smaller. So let me see what will happen when I incorporate a little bit of marks in here. That's the only thing with using the stick pastel is it usually sticks pretty well. Thank you for the hearts. Laura Mayer, we're getting snow in the Twin Cities. Wow, that's amazing. I watch on my TV, but say hi on my phone, Chris Ella. That, that is what um, I um, have done on um, my TV. So it, it definitely works that way. So I'm just looking through here. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna find a way to transition this out a little bit. And I think I'm gonna bring that up with some of the pencils. It's just, well, that's a really dark one. So I'm gonna bring up this one. I might have to sharpen it, see if my sharpener will let me do this uh, Karen Dash. I had just put a new blade in it, so it might be kind. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I, I know I wanna keep this the brightest, but I think I wanna bring up some of this. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna erase some of that. And it's easy to do. I mean, it really is. That's the flow I like. I like to try something and then if it doesn't work, I can change it. And I think that's pretty powerful. Um, I might even make myself a line there. A lot of it's about layering and patience. I might put a little bit of orange in there. Or maybe even I'll, I'll put 
I think that hot pink would be kind of cool. So you can see it just takes time to build up those layers. And then you can stand back and go, okay, what is it needing? I really like those bursts of this, of this pink. And I might bring it one more time a little bit right here. Maybe I can Go like that, like a little touch of it. Yeah. I like kind of haloing these. That's fun. So you see how I'm discovering stuff along the way. If I had it all planned out, I wouldn't really have those moments. And then I can continue to bring out, whoops, I thought I was grabbing my white. Let's see here. So I'm just adding a little bit of rim around here to bury that. Might just use some of my bright, bright, bright yellow I have here too to warm it up a bit. Yeah. Oh, that's not my that's not my white it's that was a um, raw umber okay I'm gonna look at that on the camera here there we go just gonna take a little drink here and look at it and evaluate here a little bit I'm liking the sky so far. I'm feeling pretty good about that. I think I just need to work on the bird a little bit and really get them brought up. And then I can, and those flowers, I want to add a little bit more into them. But I think I'm on the right path. I'm really liking how I'm blurring out, you know, even if I use this really pretty yellow, I'm, I'm blurring out around the edges of the flower where the light's hitting them and I think that gives it a little bit more realism of it's a sunset because you're not going to have that's going to be like a little bit softer like these real light where they're a lot of black in that. I'm going to knock that down a bit wherever I see the black. So this is where I'm burying the lines. And right here I'm going to be careful because it's right underneath the chin. So I think I'm going to take and put the lime green in here. And I'm going to go all the way into the, the chin with that. And then I can take the white and rim it. Because you definitely want this 
details in here and really build contrast in this area. And I have that little beak, I'm gonna bring that out a bit. Find my pencil I'm looking for. I've been kind of being better at organizing them, but I think, there we go. Today is a little bit. So you can go back and forth with pastel. It just, it's really freeing. So if I bury something too much, I can bring that beak out. And see, I just had that beak, you know, I was playing with that and then I was like, you know what, this color would re work really great in the back. I'm gonna tap you guys, so just be prepared. I might have to take this off. I have a lot of shedding from the white. I'll, I'll wait a little bit and see if I can work around that. I'm going to So I'm just playing with this transition right there. Oh, let's see. I I'm glad that I'm so, you know, I'm bummed that you didn't go out with your horse. I think that's wonderful. I used to have horses growing up myself. And um, that just sounds amazing that you go with your horses on Thursday, Francine, but I'm really glad that you're here. Laura Mayer, composition question. My eye goes immediately to your focal point. Is it important to you to find a way to bring the eye into the darkness on the bottom too, or is that intentional? Is it important to you to find a way to bring the eye into the darkness? Of well, I haven't done as much in there, so I'll be tapping some colors into here to bring my eye in here a little bit more. I'm also gonna be putting stars in here and um, I think the darkness also will bring your eye into it. And that's why I was thinking about putting a, a black mark there because it really brings your eye around. So I still have to play with this foliage down here and add some shadowing. And I think that's going to, you know, if I put patterns in some of these leaves, that's going to, to bring your eye. So I'll definitely be doing that. I've really focused up right here. And I think at this moment, I'm just going to take this piece off because I don't, I really try not to blow anything in my studio and I'm gonna tap it off into my bin here. And um, I just really got a lot of white on that. I'll just have to tap it. Sometimes the white pencils will leave a lot of shedding. Let me make sure I get it in the center. Okay, now this is where I have a chance to have pastel on my face because I got it on my fingers. <laughs> so you guys better tell me if, uh, but yeah, I, I, I totally think that's a great question. I agree. Um, you're, you're gonna see it start pulling out. And I mean, even going a little bit bright right here, it, it takes away from this center part a little bit, but you know what? I think it, it brings your eye there. So I really love it. Um, Oh, thank you, Michelle. I really appreciate that. I, she really helps me out with, you know, getting people to subscribe, thumbs up, all of that support. It's free. It really helps me grow this channel. And it reminds me to say it too, Michelle. So thank you so much. Um, you guys, I'm really close to the first level of monetization 
monetization. I think I'm 200 and something hours away. So you guys have been helping me so much and we'll have like chat perks and all types of that when, um, when that goes, when that goes live in my live, I guess, when it gets, uh, activated. So I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to play with these flowers a little bit because I'm also can use those to, um, bring your eye through and I'm going to play around with a little bit of this magenta and they're pretty dark so I have some wiggle room and artistic license because I put that um, structure in there I get to do what I want with them basically I mean I like to keep some black peeking through them I can and then I can bring them up with another color too so might try to put some of this burnt sienna in them and see if what this looks like no I don't think I love that I'm gonna find a little bit lighter of a purple. I have a few here that I love. All right. I have a few to choose from. Let me see here. Bring it up. This is a, the Karen Dash does have a lot more range of colors. Let me see how light this one is. That one's a little bit lighter. I think between them all, that is the lightest that I have here. Yeah, that one's pretty dark. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to use my favorite um, Carbothello, the 642. I always consider it like my Mars purple, Mars violet. Yeah, that really works for adding some pop to the leaves. Yeah, I really like that. That really gives some separation, like there's a whole bunch of little leaves there, little flower petals. Thank you, Francine. I really appreciate it. I, I can't wait to show you the, the where we started picture from where we get to. I, I think that's so much fun in this in Thursday's Live. So um, that'll be a lot of fun. Let's see. I'm right where Nevada, Arizona, Utah meet. Almost 80 today. Wow, that is hot. Okay, so I can continue to play with that a little bit. And then I have this really beautiful um, bright purple if I can find it. I think sometimes this is a little bit of a challenge as I have so many pencils and I've been trying to keep them organized. I really have, but I just had that bright purple. Oh, I set it over here, you guys. That's not going to help me one bit. Um, this is another one of the Karen Dash. It's an 83. I've used it in here. I want to bring this in a little bit. I love this color. And I'm, I can put it on these rims. It's all about layering. I might not put as many down there because that. I 
I just know there's light all in here, so I'm trying to bring them up slowly. So I actually drew these birds a long time ago. I drew them all up and I've been meaning to get them done. So this has been a great opportunity. I love this um, size to work on the five by tens. Yeah, I really like the little fluffiness of that and I can always put another pencil over it to brighten up some of it, maybe with that hot pink. Okay. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. And I'm putting my pencil back where I, <laughs> you know, I might, I hope that sound isn't horrible coming across on there, but. Okay. I'm gonna work on this area with the bird too, a little bit. I'm gonna bring in a little bit of orange here. lighter this is more of a um, skin tone but I'm gonna put a little bit of that in here I don't know if I love that but the cool thing is is I can just layer on yeah I think I I want to find a pen to bring up this a little bit. Temple. Oof, late, but Dawn, this looks like spring. Thank you so much, Temple. I'm so glad you made it today. Yeah, Thursdays are a little bit more of a different vibe on here. Tuesdays seem to work the best for people um, as a whole. But it's hard for me to change it for, because this time works really great for me. So I'm trying, I'll, I'll be figuring that out on the journey, I'm sure. Okay, I'm gonna bring up some of this. Just playing with this section until I like it.
really, I'm pulling this pencil out because I want to use this one because I love it. And I'm just thinking of color I can tie in here. It isn't too bold, but, or why not? I had what I put in the cheek and I'm trying to find that pencil. Well, I might just put some of this magenta in a little bit light over this. Those highlights on the purple flowers made such a difference for me, really brought them forward. Thank you, it's just those layerings, you know, it's just having that patience for layering and um, just trying things out. Will the whimsical mushroom video be coming back? Right now it says the video doesn't exist. Um, Chrisella, I'll go check that out after this, um, after this live, that's a great question. Um, it, I had to transition, you guys. It took me three months to transition my videos over from one host to Squarespace. And it was a, a big journey. So I thought I got that one all in there, but I will go double check it. So it, it's there. It's, it's there. I just got to go um, probably re-upload it or something like that. So I will definitely um, work on that. Thank you for telling me because I wouldn't have known. Some people, they just don't say anything. And then I'm like, oof, <laughs> I won't know. And I'm like, oh, no. So thank you so much for saying something. I hope you don't change it. I would rather you do it when you're the most happy. That way you won't get tired or burnt out. You know, I totally agree, Laura. I, I, I think I'm going to really stick to this time slot because for me, it's it's perfect. And I have to be able to um, do other things during the day. And so I find that's been a bit challenging is thinking of any other time slot. So this has been really working for me. I keep seeing this spot that's kind of bugging me, so I'm just going to fix it. It needs something. And this is where those rainbow moments happen. Like I really like that change right there. I really don't think I'm going to get burnt out on this. I'm really enjoying it. It's definitely a commitment having something two days a week to show up for like this, but I'm really enjoying it. I'm six weeks in, having a great time connecting with all of you. I think I really needed that as an artist. And most of all, I just really love inspiring and sharing my art with all of you because I you know, believe there's just not enough out there of, you know, creating and sharing. And um, I just hope that it inspires you to maybe try this beautiful medium because I have to say when I switched over, I've tried so many mediums and over 25 years. And when I found this, I just felt like I was home. And I already had a ton of supplies. I was heavily into watercolor, acrylic, and, um, but yeah, I've been really grateful that, I think the, to, to word it easily, it's the first one that's really held my attention for so long. I mean, I love watercolor and I, I love trying other things here and there, but I really don't feel the desire as much because I'm so fulfilled So you can see how I'm just going over and I'm adding little glow marks and a lot of this like really important, I consider important parts are happening now where it just starts really harmonizing the piece. And, and that's why I, you know, I really wish, I, I hope more people will watch the Thursdays because I think they're the most powerful. Um, it's really interesting because you can't fake, you know, you can't get feedback with everybody, but I just think that um, 
the details in, in this, this slot of the week is the most exciting, at least for me personally. I, I think you guys really have been enjoying who are here live, really have been, been enjoying it. So you can see how I just picked up this yellow. I think I was doing something else with it and it'll inspire me to try to do other things. Um, I work around the piece. I don't finish a section out and then call it done. Um, I really enjoy the, the flexibility of this and it makes me feel like I'm playing and that's, that's, the, that's the feeling I wanna lean into more. So when you're trying to find your style and you're just feeling lost, really start thinking about what you're enjoying when you are creating, like taking notes and, and saying, you know, do I, what part of this painting did I love the most when I made it? Um, I think that really helped me, you know, sometimes I get a little shy with my quirky stuff that I do, but I really love making really weird quirky things, you know? I mean, heck, my figurative had a mushroom coming out of her head, you know? And if I worry about that too much, um, I think I get a little stifled. Um, I like that for what I did. I'm gonna put a little bit of this in here. I like that a lot. I really like these colors right here together, this greenish with a teal, and then now this is turning like a peach yellow. I might get a peachy pink for these wings. I'm gonna see if what how I feel. I think that might be a little too dark. I'm gonna go with this. You know, I have this orangey. I'm gonna try this. If anything, it's gonna harmonize. I have that really bright pink and I'm gonna bump this up and get it closer to the body. So see, I got that pencil in my hand again and now I'm gonna start putting some marks in here that I like. I like that. I really love this pencil. This is the 582 Karen Dash. You know, the, the more I'm getting into um, the lives, I'm really grabbing for the Karen Dash a lot more. Um, I don't know, I, I guess we all go through moments. Okay, let me make sure I haven't missed anything here. Oh, you guys have been busy. <laughs> I love that. So, Laura said this about the time slots. Bear with me, I'm catching up guys. Oh wow, we got quite a few. I hope you don't change it. I'd rather you do it when you're most happy. I yeah, I got that one. Thank you so much. I'm I'm really feeling good about that. Um, Chrisella like that. I got a response that response as well. Okay, I think you guys are talking about that video. Just want to let you know that Jerry's is having a sale, both FC and Carbothello pastel pencil sets, both sets. Oh, that's great. You guys are helping each other out. Uh, Peg, she loves the flowers. Hi, Peg. I'm so glad that you're here. She loves the flowers, the highlights, the shading, makes them look 3D. Thank you so much. Um, thank you, Temple, for helping me out with that. Um, 
I have the full sets of Carbothello and Derwent. I'm thinking about getting the pits, but haven't even used what I have yet. Yeah, Chrisella, we all go through that. Um, I would say I'm just starting to use the Caran d'Ache a lot more, but um, my core is the Carbothello and the pit um, Faber-Castell pit pencils. I love those. They're a little bit more earthier than the um, Carbothellos. Yeah, the Carbothellos are, are awesome. Laura, that's so true. Okay, it's ironic, isn't it? Artists love people usually and good conversation and yet we spend so much time alone working. It's so true and I think that's been the biggest challenge on this journey is trying to find where you get fed because a lot of people want me to do like art shows and I, I've, Lori and I, we actually sold our art at a couple of those like local shows when we were starting out. I, gosh, I'm trying to think. I think that was like seven years ago or eight years ago. I don't know. Lori, if you have a good memory, you'll tell us. But um, I did that and I really loved meeting people and all that, but you have to haul so much stuff around you guys and build all the displays. And I was just like, I, I just can't do it. So especially now that I'm transitioning into teaching so much more is I, I really love this time with everybody. It really, really brightens my week. It does. Okay, so I'm gonna start working in this area. I'm feeling really good about the bird. I'm gonna bring out that little edge a little bit more and I have to work on these. And I, I still have a, a few little marks there that are bugging me. So I haven't really done anything down here. We're at 243, so I think I can definitely um, bring those up here. I might use a little bit more uh, pan pastel in a few areas. So I have this, this is the shade of the um, ultramarine. Yeah, just wanted to make sure. And I'm gonna just put in a few spots. You know, I might grab the uh, brighter one because I wanna show you guys. I'm gonna put some marks on it. Oh, I brought it right next to me. I said, just in case I want it, I'm gonna put it over here. So I'm just stacking it, making sure it feels firm in there. <laughs> Let me wipe it off a little bit. And then I can see if I can do some marks with it. I don't know if it'll show up that much in this spot. Yeah, that shows up. I can bring a few things up. I think that's a stem there. I can always bring that back in. So you don't know how bright you want something until you've uh, brought up this area. And so now that kind of leaves me a little bit more freedom here. I can put a few patterns in and it's going to be, because this is black, I put black down here, those um, it's going to darken anyway. I might even put a couple of those over here. I really like that. I don't know if it'll show up. I can always tone it down too. I'm just putting ideas in there and I can tone it down. That's kind of fun. I think this was a a green branchy thing, but that's okay. I'm just gonna bring a few more of these pan pastel to mix some of these colors. Oh, well, that's diurolide right there. I don't want to use diurolide again. I think this is my bright, but I don't want to go too bright down there. He's just 
kind of floating there, so I'm going to have to think about putting a stem or maybe even putting one of these over it. So I might try to put a few of these over like a blur. where they're not as defined. Okay, I feel pretty good about that. So this is the magenta extra dark. I'm just going to support some of this over here. Maybe blend this a little bit. That, that blue is a little bright. I might just hit it with a violet with a little bit of black. Denine said, I'm so happy you're doing this as a retired person. I miss hanging out with friends. You know, I, I, I get it. I think the art's going to be that fuel for me when, I guess, I don't know if I'll ever retire from art, but I get what you're saying, Denine. Um, Peg, we should make painting day. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. You guys live closer, it sounds like. Yeah. Well, the internet is amazing how we can go on live or do, or do, um, I want to say, Venmo or Vimeo, but you guys get Zoom is what I'm thinking. Okay. Templemore, you have 24, but the price is on. Oh, you guys are shopping. Yeah, it, it's a lot picking them out in individual stock for the pencils. Temple, thank you so much. I, I really like that too. I, I might tone it down a little bit, but we'll just see how I feel. Francine's got a question, but all input is appreciated. I struggle with when to stop. I feel like I'm always hesitant to add more layers for fear I wreck it. And I know most artists struggle with that. So I would say I'm the type of person that goes, goes a little far with things. And a lot of times, if I feel like I've gone too far, I can go back and erase and tone something down. That's why I love the um, pan pastel, because if I feel like I've gone too much, like even with these things, if I want to tone this down, I can just put some black back in. Or maybe I did too many mark makings and I've looked at it the next day. I think that whole like figuring out when to stop just takes time when you've done a lot of pieces and you start going, did I like that I pushed it that hard or, or not? And some of it, we just don't even know because we just haven't done enough that we might feel like we pushed it too much, but we might have learned a lot in that whole thing. So yeah, I find it, it, it's a struggle even with me, and but I end up working into my style that um, more works because it's messy it's scribbly some people will ask me well it could be done right now you know and then I'm like no <laughs> I want to do more and if I'm joyful with it then I, I'll keep going and I'm trying to find you know that in my style where I can keep layering but I'm not ruining the piece and I think that just has taken me time and I think I'm learning to be able to take this structure and do a lot more with it, but not go too crazy. And I think that's just a hard journey for any of us. Because I always like to push a piece, you know, like. I'm just taking these teals. I love these teal pencils. This is a Carbothello 530 and add some 
more lines, bold lines. That one's a little bright, so I'm gonna bring out the darker one. This is the, the 590. And um, I really like that, and I might. Mix in a little bit of this to the stem. And then I have this dark, almost like a um, army green. It's the uh, 585. And I can put some of these stems back in and even darken this one a bit. And then I'm going to put a little bit of a shadow. I'm just having some fun right there with some pattern. Cassie, welcome. Hello. JC. Let's see. Every time I predict that I'm going to to die doing yard work, but it's so far so good. Well, I'm glad you're okay, Chrisella. We don't want you dying doing yard work. It's actually like really good full body exercise. I always have to tone it down and say, Dawn, you can't go too long with the yard work because it can um, really be a lot more work on my body than I, than I expected. So I'm just toning in this. This is a really dark pencil but it's colored, so I really love the colors of this pencil. And I can bring out some of these highlights in the feathers, but they're still gonna be dark. And now I'm gonna get a blue. I think this one's a little bit darker. Yeah. I'm going to keep that the dark purple. So my eye just gets drawn to some things and that's what I'm working through is spots in the, in the bird that are sticking out. I hope I don't pass it on my face. Okay. Thank you, I need to put in the hours to figure that out, but it's glad to know being extra is a good place to start. I, I think my style, I've leaned into extra, like completely. I like being extra. And, I, and I'm really tired of my, you know, in my uh, adult life, I really realized I don't wanna be too much. You know what I mean? Like, 
I want to place a safe place where I can be extreme, be too much, be out there like, you know, and um, it, this just really fuels me because we're the boss. But when you build the structure, the structure around, you can scribble all you want. And I've gone lighter here in this composition. And when you get a few of these cores down, you can really do what you want. I mean, I could scribble this whole piece to life. And if I just use the light and the um, composition and bringing your darks throughout as my guides, you, you really start learning that and it, it becomes a little more second nature. I'm gonna take this pencil and just put some marks down here. I, li I like that. And sometimes even with these, I've, I've put like, um, um, I don't remember what I was gonna say. Oh, I'll think of it in a minute. Had a little brain moment. Okay. I wanna blend this a little bit out. So this is what you don't see until you get back and I don't mind blurring it. Even this little area I just worked on, it's fine. It'll it'll peek through. And I might add a few more dots or something. I just feel like it's too much right there in the sense of shape. And I can bring some pattern in to bring that up. I know some of you might be going, ah, oh, but it's okay. And then I'm, I'm fading that out a little bit and then I can bring a little bit of it back again. I'm just looking for that moment of color pop that um, makes me go, yeah. I think that's gonna, this layering of this is gonna help me. Going back to my blue. I'm just har trying to harmonize it with the rest of the piece. I haven't been in the chat a lot before today since I watch on the TV once I, I say hi. I'm glad you're, you're chatting with us, Chrisella. That's awesome. Yeah, tracing paper is, is a superpower. I'm going over a lot of that, you know, not just to trace things, to really be able to layer up, get ideas, figure out your structure and all that. And then once you're done, you can transfer it onto your pastel paper because pastel paper is really not that fun to draw on. So transferring is, is no problem. Um, where do we find the rolls of the 600 dark? So you guys, the 600 dark's kind of crazy. It, um, I, special, I have to special order it and I really wish that wasn't the case, but um, I special order it through Dick Blick. Well, now it's called Blick Art Materials, but um, I um, call them up and I, I actually put in a, an order. I'm putting some shadow underneath these, where the branches, where the bird is to create some dimension. So I have to call ahead for these, um, for the paper and I order a whole roll and it lasts me for 
quite a long time. Like I haven't ordered one in a couple of years. <laughs> and I just go all in because it saves me so much money to buy it in the rolls. I definitely would suggest that if you um, haven't done a lot is, is maybe buy the sheets until you find what you love, love. Um, they also sell them in larger sheets. It's um, not just nine by 12s. They go all the way up to like 24 by 40 or 36 by 40. And I get, you can get all that on, on Blick. So I might darken this stem a bit. I'm using this uh, pit pencil, it's a 175. I use it for my shadows a lot. To knock something down. I might use my black for that. I got inspired to put some dots in here. Okay, I'm going to fix a couple of those when I get this fixed. So this just really brings the stem not to have so much, not to be so bright. And I can always bring it back out a little bit. But if you think about it, it's underneath the bird. Yeah, that looks, that looks better. And then I can use this dark green. Gosh, you guys, how did it become 303 already? It's not allowed. I'm definitely finishing this one today. I want to have it finished. And then I can layer it up with a, a darker green now that I know I wanted to push that back. So that's that flexibility of the, of the pastel. I mean, you just really have unlimited possibilities here. And you can see how up here looks like it's in the sun and now I have a real good shadow on the, the branch here. I'm really liking pushing this back. See, the cool thing is, is you can take that black and punch back even more. Now you can see that branch, you know, it's like, these are those moments where I can just, I start honing in on, on parts. And that's what I'm doing is scanning and scanning and, and you're kind of, you go, okay, what can I, I, I really like something to look like it's being lifted. I used to lift things all the time when I was in graphic design, making like kits and stuff. So. It's something I know I love to do. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Okay, I'm gonna look at it overall here in just a sec. I think I might calm down this blue over here. And see what I think about that. Maybe just and then I might bring in a dark green pencil. Cassie, I ordered the 600 yesterday. It's difficult to find in Australia. Fortunately, I won a US Amazon $50 voucher that she recently used and had to pay another 65 on top for the 10 sheets. That is crazy that it's so expensive where you guys are. I'm so glad that you got that Francine that you're practicing on the UART. Where do we find the rolls? Okay, I answered that one. Dakota does have some of that too, but I haven't called them to order directly through them. 
Um, but yeah, I special order on Blix, like Laura's saying. S sorry, got to go early today. See you all on Tuesday. I'll be watching the replay so I can see how the rainbow lovely turns out. Okay, Laura, you have a great day. I really am so glad that you showed up today. Chrisella, I don't think Dakota carries the 600. None of them carry it on online. I have to call now, except for the sheets. The rolls, I just don't, I don't get anymore. Um, I'm going to angle this up. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking that a little bit better. This one is just really bright. I'm going to fix this. hundred percent sure about this area right here. I'm just might take some of it out. And then I might put some dark dots in by it. Let me see what this looks like. This is my happy place, so I could stay here for a while. I'm hoping I don't, well, if I got pastel on my face, I am a pastel artist, so you guys would tell me, right? <laughs> so this pencil allows me to clean up some things if I want to. Okay, I'm going to put a few stars in there and then that's going to like show me if I want to add more or or not. Now with the stars, I like to use like not a white white. Sometimes I'll pick like this yellow just so it's not so stark, especially if my focal point is somewhere else. Thank you, Francine. It's my favorite part. I think it's one of the biggest things about my creative process is the pushing and pulling. I get a lot of joy from it. So I'm, I'm just trying to get that black burying that. It's still showing a little bit, but you guys don't see it as much as I can see it. And then I'm gonna just pop in some stars now the tip with stars is you want to change their sizes a little bit and you can bump them back and they look like they're, they go farther back. So this is where the dimension really happens in the piece is like if you take a moment and really look at the darks 
you're going to see me just punch them through and the stars do that. And I'm going to tap right here on here because it's got a lot of white and I'm just going to blend that in. I don't want to blow it off and so I'm just tapping that. That'll let me go over that stem a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to start, there's just a couple spots here that need to be defined. Okay. David, hi David. That's so cool you're on here. David is Lori's husband and we've, yeah, we've known each other for so long. David, you're awesome. <laughs> That's really cool. Welcome to my world, David. So I'm putting stars in. <laughs> so I also don't want to be like polka dots. Like I did polka dots like right there, but you don't want to put like, um, just start going crazy with it. You want to try to diversify your different sizes and how far you space them. Oh, Michelle, I'm glad you're still here. <laughs> I didn't realize you were having a hard time, Michelle. I'm sorry about that. I must have missed that in chat. Um, it's been great in chat, you guys, today. I just feel like so many of you are participating, and I really love that so much. I mean, that's what I want this to be is a community. And um, so you can see how I'm, I've got some of those stars in there, and then I like to touch them, and I do a little wiggle. And then see how that almost makes them look like they're radiating with their, their light? And this is where I feel like I could go too far. But the cool thing is, is if I put some a little too far, I can just um, take them out again. I mean, that's with anything with this. I mean, you guys, if I didn't like this painting and I used the so-called precious UR paper, for some of you in Australia, I know it's gonna be really precious. I can use an eraser and erase this all off and reuse the paper again. There's nothing permanent, especially when I have it put up on a, um, I mounted it onto a board. Uh, mat board with using the graphics double stick. I mount all my pieces now because that's really nice. And um, so nothing's permanent, you guys, nothing at all. I've gone out and erased whole pieces before. So I've got a few little stars in here. I really want those little spots that are away to be faded in the back. I want them to look like, oh, they're there, but, and then I'll put some in this little spot in here and I'm not you can see I'm not going crazy with it because you don't want your eye to go like right there all the time so I'll pick one that I really like and then I'll, I'll go over it again and get bring it up We're right on time, you guys. I thought I was not going to be able to. We're having the big reveal here, you guys. Hang out a little bit more. We're, um, I'm going to be showing you where it's come from. I'm going to put a few Well, that's almost the exact same color. Let me get my little this one. This is one of those Karen Dash. I cross my fingers if I try to put in a pencil sharpener. I think maybe some of mine got dropped too because it's such a soft pastel that, um, yeah, that this is the color I was looking for. I have a stem there too. So some things you guys might see on your end that I don't see. Um, 
that I just find later. Here I go again. See, I grabbed this pencil, so now I'm going to play around with that. That's so cool. Lori and David are here. I'm so excited. Oh, Lori's on, under her name now. That's awesome. Lori and David Michaels. I love that so much. Temple. Sparkly Night Sky Holes. Thank you so much. I love that too. So once I start like mark making, I'll start repeating it in places too. And um, I'm feeling pretty good about that. I'm going to take the uh, black and I'm just going to put some stripes in here too. All right, I think the only other thing is I have this little leaf right here. Initially it had a shadow underneath it, but I think that just got taken out because of the um, abstracting. I like that a little bit more defined. Okay, I'm going to do a final like stand back from it and see if there's anything driving me crazy that, yeah, these, these dots are driving me nuts, you guys. I'm just going to have to, I don't know, for me, they're, they're not doing it for me. But see, look, magic. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a couple stars in there. Okay. I'm getting a full look see you guys. Where is my super bright this one? Michelle, question. This is going to sound silly, but does the paper feel like sandpaper to the touch and does it shine like sandpaper? I ordered 40 sheets from different grades of different grades to test on. So the, it does feel like, like Michelle, um, Lori says, um, it does feel like sandpaper. The 600 isn't too rough and isn't as noticeable. The 400 makes me twitch. Yeah, if you use anything lower than four than 600, it's going to tear up your soft tools. I love 
you know, the 400s more for st uh, stick artists, for pastel sticks. Um, anything like 500 and below. So 600 on up is, is really works well with the soft tools. And that's why I chose that one. But it does feel like real sandpaper. I don't think it sparkles as much because I have this piece right here that's empty. And, um, and then right, we're gonna be showing the reveal here in a second, but I've erased this quite a few times, but this is what it looks like. So it definitely has that sandpaper vibe. And this is the 600 that I just mounted on a board when I wanna show people some things. And then, um, yeah, I think I'm feeling pretty good about it. The, the bird, I kinda of wanna, I feel like, you know what, if I had the bright lavender, I think if I put, I don't know, something like that. It needs something like that, so. I can always go back and play with that, but I think I like that. So I'm gonna show you the, um, ooh, we have a title suggestion. Ooh, I love that. Colors of the Nightingale Song. I love that. Consider it done. <laughs> Colors of the Nightingale Song, that is awesome. Um, I think I got all of the questions pretty answered. Are you guys ready for the reveal? I, I hope so. I, I think it's really come a long way. I'm pretty excited for it. So here we go. This is where we were. I actually printed it out to the right size this time. And it's amazing how much we changed here. And then here is where we went. So you can see how I really kept that structure, but broke it down in some fun ways. And, um, Oh, I, it's, it's driving me crazy right here. This little stem is like a, a swoop. There we go. Got it. I'll see stuff later and fix it, but, but yeah, I'll show it one more time. Here is the, um, before you got to get through that structure stage. You guys like that is the, the, the time well spent. And then, you, and then we have after. So I am really tickled with the parts that I love the most is how the flowers turned out. I love the light and um, I, I really, I'll, I'll think about this spot, but I think it's toned down enough where it's not taking away from up here because it, it's definitely a busier piece, but um, I'm really, really excited about it. And I'm so glad that you guys are here with me to, to share the journey. And um, thanks for all the, the rainbow hearts and everything. So um, I just had so much fun. I don't um, know what I'm gonna do next week, so she loves the back of the bird. Thank you so much. And um, I love your, your name suggestion. Uh, that is awesome, Temple. I really appreciate that. I'm definitely gonna call it that. Um, I'm, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I think I've had, you know, a few people, I, they named the um, Daisy May. I'm trying to remember who named it. My brain's just kind of gone, but it might have even been, <laughs> I don't think it was you, but I really appreciate the name suggestions. Um, a lot of the journey is like painting it. And then sometimes I'm like, what am I going to name it? Um, it's, it's, it can be tricky. So, um, thank you so much. Oh, Michelle, I, I thought you were the one. I just didn't want to say it wrong. Um, so yeah, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for coming. Remember if you're new here and you haven't signed up already, I put the link in the chat. I'll put it one more time here that you can sign up for my free uh, pastel, um, uh, it's a pastel membership. I'm gonna go fix the whimsical mushroom. Um, I do uh, release exclusive freebies in that area that aren't on YouTube. And if you wanna be, um, it also signs you up for my newsletter, but you have to confirm that. So make sure if you're interested in getting my newsletter too to confirm that, because I announce all my lives, I announce new classes, because I'm working on a new class right now. So I'm um, really excited. I really appreciate you all. Thank you. I'll be back Tuesday. I'll, I'll get the thumbnail of what we're gonna do posted over the weekend. So um, you can check back if you want and, and click notify if you wanna get notifications. So you guys are amazing. Have a great weekend. 
And um, I, I really, really am grateful for this wonderful community we're building. So I appreciate all your help, your support, your comments, your watch time. I mean, you're really making this become a reality. And six weeks in, I'm still feeling like this definitely is what I meant to be here. So you guys take care. Thank you very much, everybody. And I'll talk to you next week. All right, bye.